Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated podcast. I am your dungeon master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 117 and the 13th and final episode of The Path of Evocation. I just want to remind everyone to come and track us down on social media, uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Discord. Discord's a great place to come and have a chat with us. Uh, we are always around to talk about pretty much everything. Adventure Incorporated is brought to you, as always, by David and patrons like them. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. and become a patron today. There are so many very, very cool things that we do each and every month. It's a new month means new episodes uh new pieces of content so head over and pick the level that works for you and throw us your support we really appreciate it that's all this week let's get started nobles and farmers knights and wenches gather round gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Keth, the fighter monk. Guys, there's there there are a lot of there's a lot of puppy in this cloak. I'm I, I just I need, needed to say it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Genevera, the sorcerer. Genevera, you're sitting there next to Clyde, who just goes, "What the fuck?" I like <laughs> hold up my hand for a high five. <laughs> Gibetto, the rogue. As soon as they see the five of you, their expression hardens. Uh, well, we'll see you later. And Jibato just turns <laughs> <and leaves. laughs> Gillick, the paladin warlock. But, but you're dying again, right? Like, you die, then you get a spirit. And then you're nothing. And then, you become nothing. And then you're nothing. That sounds like bullshit. Let's go kill the Death Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and Asher, the druid barbarian. Yeah, but I'm asking specifically who, why Jeff is important to Asher. He just, he's just the first name. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to justify this. <laughs> Previously on Adventure Incorporated, the sky is like a crimson red. And inside that bubble is a fortress. And there is a person, a red dragonborn, oh. sitting um, lotus style on the floor. I am Baum. Baum? What is this place? This is the heart of the Plane of Evocation. It is a long, eel-like creature with several tendrils. Oh, that guy. And it slams into the copper cage, smashing it open. Um, and you hear the creature, like... <laughs> And then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Compelled Duel on the Mind Flayer. <laughs> okay. Prepare yourselves, for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated. And then I will use, once we're in the Compelled Duel, I will use my action to cast Darkness centered around myself. Dope. Okay. Uh, great. So, yeah, you Goodbye. charge forward. <laughs> so here's he. Uh, you guys see Gillick charge forward, uh, and then sorry guys, I got an idea. Gillick and the uh, mind flayer uh, disappear. They sort of phase out into uh, ethereal. If into ethereal, they're in the ethereal plane now. You can still sort of see their shadow because they are. As we discussed before, they're, like, close on the ethereal plane. They're not deep in the ethereal plane. Um, they're they're on this side of the bubble. Sure. So uh, you can still sort of see them, but you can't interact with them. So so this is the the thing I had in my head. Like, I, I summon the hammer, and I'm, I'm running towards the, the mind flare, and I point the hammer at as I'm casting the spell. And I'm saying, you know, to, to the rest of you, uh, you know, Kill the eel as fast as you can. I'll hold on to this guy for as long as I can. And then, and and then you the... turn, and then the <laughs> darkness spreads. Um, <clears throat> okay. And that was the last we ever saw of Gillick. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
you feel a well hold on <clears throat> make a wisdom saving throw okay cool uh, nope nope where is it there it is uh 18. Okay, uh, the Mind Flayer, uh, you hear its voice in your mind. So, oh, I do. I can still see it, though. You, well, you're in darkness, right? So but I you have, have your dark sight. vision. Right, right, so right. I can, I, yeah, so I can see through it. So right, you be can able see to through s- it. Okay. Yes. So, yes, you hear in its voice. Um, you cannot hide from me. Yet... You see the creature hovering above you, frantically searching, uh, trying to, to locate where you are. I will find you, and when I do, your mind will be mine. Okay. Um, I have a question. Okay, yeah. so it's just, ta- it's just talking to me. It didn't, it didn't make an attack or anything. Correct. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Um, but it is going to, hold on, I gotta check this spell. I know it's sure. not fun, but. No, 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 no this, is, this is fun. I think this is fun. I'm having fun. We're having fun. I'm having fun. I love when you check spells. That's my favorite thing. It's your favorite part That's of my the favorite. show. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I like the talking and the action and the intrigue, but my favorite thing <laughs> is when you look <laughs> up Anthony spells. Anthony checks spells. Let's do a uh! super cut of all of that. Oh, God, yes. Don't worry, I super cut all of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while you're doing that, uh, can someone remind me how holding an action works in this game? I know we've talked about it a lot. You may choose one action to hold. So it's not my whole turn? Correct. You okay. also have to set the trigger as to what will cause you to make that action. And yeah, if that I trigger that never part. occurs, you, it never happens. Right. That's fine. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, okay. Shit. He can't do that. Hooray! Because he can't see you. Ah, here's, here's what he can do. What can he do? <clears throat> All right. So he uh, he sort of just looks in the general direction of the darkness. He backs off a little bit and he lets out a huge blast of psychic energy. Okay. Uh, it, so it's a sixty foot cone. So it definitely gets you. And you must succeed on an intelligence saving throw. So give me an intelligence saving throw. Uh, give me one second. Give me one second. I need to check something. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Let me check. Yes. It. Um, hang on. Let me check a thing. The podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, damn it! Because I have to make a saving throw. Ah. Uh, so because I have helmet of protection, evil from good, I have advantage on my saving throw for this. Because he's a. Uh, because he's an aberration. Aberration. Yeah. So this is, uh, what saving throw is this? Intelligence. Intelligence. Interesting. You know, the most common saving throw. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 15. Oh, okay. Uh, Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, so the, the wave of psychic energy, you feel like it is just... It almost shatters your psyche. It Uh, is so close to breaking your mind, and you can feel the tentacles on the inside of your mind, like just scraping along the outside as you feel this constricting, but you push yourself so hard. Uh, A little bit of blood trickles out of your nose, but you manage to stave off the psychic attack. Stay out of my mind! Oh, now he knows where you are. It was all part of his plan. Damn it. Uh, Gibetto, it's your turn. Uh, is the eel's back entirely covered in acid right now, or is it more like on its face and stomach? Uh, 
it's a vitriolic sphere that it sort of explodes, so it's just fully covered in acid. Okay. If it helps, I definitely targeted it on the underside, so it would splash up. Sure. Like, so the I guess his back leave the leave the top. Free. His back is exposed. Great. Uh, that's what I thought. I, I just wanted I told you to, I'm getting better at target practice. I just wanted to ask for clarification. Well, see, I didn't. Um, I didn't. That was additional information I didn't have. So that's understandable. You're only the DM. Well, she, she didn't tell me that she was targeting the belly. I didn't know. Right now yeah, you do. Now I, you do. Now I do. <laughs> Changes the world, and in fact, it does. And we're gonna roll back to the abolith because I just I, everything's different now. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, it's an abolith. Uh, okay, so go ahead, Gibetto. Uh So Gibetto is going to um, do a quick hop pull up uh, to get out of the little downstairs area here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then can he like run along the outside of the the pit to uh, get a good angle so that he can jump up? Uh, use the immovable rods to like latch onto space and kind of swing his body up using the momentum he's created by running to get on top of the eel. Yeah, make an athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Make an Even- athletics check. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he literally described the gymnastics. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, great. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I, you need to get the power from the running. The athletics comes from the running. That's uh, oh, sure, oh, sure, off. sure. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you run up into the air. You leap forward. <laughs> you press the buttons, uh, which the immovable rods stop in their place. You probably have to like hold them, like. Yeah, yeah, like like yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. on the sides. So and you they, press the buttons yeah, on the exactly. sides, and then you get this. So that you swing. You yeah. get the swing. You throw yourself upward, and you're sort of like positioning yourself over the tail, and it lashes its tail out to one side, and there's just nothing below you. Uh, and then it sort of lashes back, and you just manage to grasp onto it. Make a Constitution saving throw. Sure. Yeah, I, I assumed it was either going to be Constitution or Strength. Uh, <laughs> So make an, make a acrobatics check. Right. <laughs> no, athletics. Uh, eight, 19 on that uh, constitution save. You slide into the acid on the side of the creature, and you feel it start to, like, burn your skin, but you quickly, like, you sort of push it away and, and, and manage to, like, hold, hold your composure together despite sliding on this sure. acid and pull yourself up onto the back of the creature. Hell yeah. Um... Is there anything like, so it's an abolith, not like a, I, I was picturing the monsters from uh, the first Avengers movie that came out of space. It's um, not dissimilar to that. It's a little more. Okay. There's, That's um, a reference to the Marvel movie, <laughs> the Avengers. Oh uh, <laughs> my God. It's not quite as uh, thick as that creature. With two C's. With two C's, that's right. uh, and it's got a couple. It's not quite extra... as sexy. I got it. <laughs> okay, and it's got a couple extra tentacles coming off the back. With right? two so C's, it's it's almost <laughs> like it's got a few tails. Okay, sure. But there's one uh, main tail that's the big like swishing tail, but it's got these other tentacles coming off its side. That's the main okay. tail. Yeah, Great. The uh, main tail. <laughs> Gebetto's gonna grab his grab my swishy, and he's gonna stab it between the like plates to try to get uh, a soft spot inside Well, so it. it doesn't really have plates. It, it is all soft. Damn it, I'm sorry. Okay. So That's you can fine. just stab in all... It's all soft. Great. Whoa. Great. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to one of those uh, one of those spikes on its back for, like, uh, leverage and use, the, use my free hand to stab into it. Sure. Poor thing's just all soft all the time. That's right. <laughs> Happens to a lot of sorry. guys. Sorry, sorry, Mrs. Abel. Yeah. <laughs> totally normal. Uh, let's see, that is uh, 23 to hit. That hits. Nope, sorry, uh, 24 to hit. Oh, that misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, that uh, hits. All right, great. Um, I won't get sneak attack because 
it must know that I'm on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You jumped up on yeah. it this turn. Right. I think it's pretty aware. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, 11 damage. Oh, not as good as what uh, Steph did. Just... Oh, I forgot. And a D4. Uh, and four lightning damage. For a total of 15 damage. Yep. Uh, okay. Great. It is, uh, you stab down into it with my swishy. Uh, you hear it roar in pain and blood trickles from the wound. Hell yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. Uh, next up is, oh, uh, the creature th- th- is not done with you, though, with you on its back. Can't reach me. Um, they can't see me. I'm John Cena in this monster. Um, <laughs> you feel like, a, almost like an, a current run under your feet. Um, and you see it sort of like run around you and you feel it run under your feet and it sort of stops right at your feet. And you get the sense that this is like, it's trying to feel where you are. Um, and it has. This is because of the can't see me comment. I see how it is. It's, uh, it's one of his legendary actions and that's what he took as his legendary action. It's a legendary action. Uh, Wait, what is it? What? What is the what? action? What's it called? Detect. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, balance uh, looks to you, Genevera, and says, what do you want me to do? Kath? I mean, Clug? Uh, I certainly don't want to take this concentration from you unless you can... Deal 50 points of damage on your turn. <laughs> if you want me to stay and do this, I can keep doing this. If you want I, someone else to I, do it instead, that's fine. I'm I'm looking to you, Genevera. What do you want? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah just keep, um, keep holding it. Okay. He keeps focusing on the ritual. <laughs> uh... I okay. like how much Genevera wants to be the leader, and then someone <laughs> offers her that chance, and she's like, oh, no! <laughs> Right, when it's easy things, like nothing's happening, and she can ask her hands up, it's great. But Everybody vote! Just... Where's Gillick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Ra- raise your hands if you think that Balance should continue holding the spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's, hey, listen, she's learning, and she's trying, and she's growing. Don't ask for too damn much. Is that a short joke? <laughs> Gibetto, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel insulted? Yes. Yes, it's a I mean, it's an insulted <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Right. Against magic? Yes. Great. Uh 19. Okay. Yeah, once again you feel like this creature is trying to force its way into your mind. Um but you stave off the effects. You you don't you don't end up feeling uh, under its thrall. Great. I say stop it and step down like stomp on it. Like <laughs> sure. Uh, Asher, it's your turn. Uh, well, all the things I want to do are far away, um, and all of them are friggin' concentration spells. Um, Would I be able to hit it with uh, Thunder Wave? Ten foot? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, I, but I know you're also going to hit... You're also going to hit Gibetto with the Thunder Wave if you attack it with a Thunder Wave. Uh, I don't want to do that, then. I don't want to do that. Um, okay, then I'm going to do... Oh, but that's a fucking... Wait, is it a deck save? A Thunder Wave? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I believe it's Thunder Wave. It's a con save. Oh. Oh. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I felt good if it was a deck save. I feel bad if it's a con save. Cool. Well, I'm not doing it then. Um, I'm going to do a spell that is called... Can I, I can't even attack it with my... Uh, uh, I'm going to fucking thorn whip it. Old school, baby. 
Fuck uh, and I'm gonna fuck it. it and I'm gonna thorn whip it because I I have to oh, hold. Boy, we talked about this. Um, <laughs> it's not that right, kind what of was, podcast. What was, what was the conclusion? That it's not that kind it's of not podcast. not that kind of podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it, how far off the ground is it, Anthony? Um, um, we'll say 30 feet. 30 feet. What, what animal can jump Well, no, it's not, it's not 30 feet. It's 20 feet. We'll say 20 feet. Okay. I, I don't get, think Gibetto could jump 30 feet. I'm going to do a thing. Uh, <laughs> In the air. Says you. I'm going to turn into yes. a motherfucking giant elk, baby. Um, keeping up uh, Elemental Bane. Uh, and I'm gonna do a running, jumping charge at it. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> gonna fucking okay. headbutt this fucko. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make for me a. Uh, so you're gonna make run, jump, me. and charge. Make an athletics check. Good. That's what I wanted. Because it's strength, right? Uh, what if he wants to do a flip in the middle of it? Do not want to. <laughs> flip an elk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 13 plus four. So... Yeah, 17. So make your attack roll. Yeah, baby. Ha-da! Um, it, I rolled a 17 plus, uh, 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 six. Uh, that hits. Cool. Uh, if I move at least 20 feet in a straight line towards a target, it takes an additional 2d6 damage. Okay, roll your damage. Cool. So, it will take 46 damage then. Eighteen uh, bludgeoning damage. Eighteen bludgeoning damage. Yep. Okay, um, yeah. Wait, now, here's the, here's the rules question that's very interesting. Um, it's flying, but it says if mm-hmm, this target, mm-hmm. if it targets a creature, it must succeed a DC 14 strength check or it'd be knocked prone. <laughs> so I don't know how that relates to flying. Uh, well, it succeeds anyway. Cool. Well, I make just... for me a dexterity saving throw. I like when you say make for make me. Make for me, uh, 16. Okay. Uh, you, you run up. You leap into the air. You slam your head into the creature, who like sort of rears back when you do, uh, and then you start to tumble down toward the ley line below. Uh, but you just manage to like catch hooves uh, on the uh, on the upper ledge and and protect yourself from tumbling down into the glowing symbol on the ground. Great, I did it. I did the thing. Ooh, that I didn't even think about what might happen if I had fallen. <laughs> Team impulse. <laughs> uh, you guys got lucky so far. You keep rolling them dice. <laughs> uh, Asher, the creature makes a tail swipe at you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It- Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, AC is uh, da, 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 fifteen plus. So actually seventeen because of the barbarian thing. Okay, it hits. Well, fuck. Okay. Good thing I retain my intelligence because a giant elk's intelligence is seven. Uh, it hits you for fifteen with its tail. Owsy. Ouch. Youch. Okay. I'm fine. Um, okay. Uh, next up is Genevera. So, um, Rob, what do I do? I still get the extra two d six. So on its turn, doesn't doesn't it take? You do. On its turn, didn't isn't it supposed to also take damage or something too? How does how does vitriolic? It's your spell. No vitriolic no, sphere. Vitriolic, vitriolic sphere. sphere. Oh shit. So on a previous turn, I think uh, it was supposed to take extra damage, right? Yes, actually, you are. Right. So every time, the first time, every time, the first time on every turn. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first, first time, time, every time. time. <laughs> <laughs> the first time on a turn that it takes that damage type, it takes an additional two d six damage. So how much should it have taken from vitriolic sphere, Steph? Five d four. So roll five d four and two d six. Okay, sorry, I completely 
forgot it's been so long. Anthony didn't announce its turn. It's not your fault. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, I did say what it did, though. Let's blame the DM. <laughs> Sixteen. Okay. Now it's your turn, Genevieve. Okay. I'm going to cast Vitriolic Sphere on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As Gibetto kind of like leans over and sees her casting. Uh, At level six. He trusts, <laughs> he trusts that she's not going to uh, explode it over the top of him. So he just kind of holds on and ducks behind that spike as like best he can. That he's holding on to? So with Vitriolic Sphere, what I'm going to do is um, I am going to spend a sorcery point to cast it carefully. Mm, excellent. Because I was really um, trying to think of the best way to make you roll to see if you fucked up Jibetto. <laughs> <laughs> no, so <laughs> um, you automatically succeed uh, a- on the saving throw. Perfect. So that's perfect. Okay. All right. So he needs to make a saving throw. Yeah. Uh, what kind? Uh, 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 Dex. He fails. Great. Take all that damage. <laughs> take it. Take that damage. Take it. <laughs> we are fucking throwing shit at this dude. Forty-five, and that's Asher. Your stuff is done, or I still get the two d six. Still get the two d six. Oh okay. shit! You still get the, but it's the second time it's, that they've taken damage. This so turn. the first it's time, the second each, time every time. The first time each turn, <laughs> the target is affected, takes the damage of the chosen type. So uh, that's your call. If his turn, it's his turn is the same as her turn. If that makes sense. For it is spell. okay. So then it that, is. The DM says no because we would probably have nuked the shit. Oh, I lost. Well, you've already killed it anyway. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then let us have it. Let us have it. Right. No, but I'm just saying it's a no, per it, round. It's dead. So for the future, it's per round, and you already got the damage that round. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Um, so, Gibetto, make a dexterity saving throw. Well, actually, for... the, the creature is falling. The, the acid yeah. ball explodes. It The creature lets out a giant whale and begins to plummet toward the symbol on the ground what are you going to do uh as soon as it gets close to the like the outer ring that's kind of uh 10 feet ish or five feet ish above that uh that glowing symbol Gibetto's gonna just kind of uh easily step off the creature onto the platform like it ain't no thing okay um Make an intelligence saving throw for that. <laughs> Great. Uh, is it magic? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try uh, to judge this correctly to not fuck away. 22. <laughs> How much? 22. Yeah, that's fine. You, uh, you gracefully move right off the creature and onto the side as the creature lands down into the ley line. And you see it just sort of like a bright flash as it disappears. We've never gone in the ley line before it's ready. What do you think happened to it? I, I think it probably disintegrated and definitely isn't waiting for us as a dead eel on the other side of this we, at Adventure we Incorporated. We certainly do not know yet. <laughs> we, should have put a, we should have put a bow on it and said, Happy wedding, Clyde. We got you this dead fish like a cat does. <laughs> okay, uh... Gillick, it's your turn. Oh, yeah! Excellent. Fuck! <laughs> is the Mind Flayer on the ground or flying? Floating in the air. He is floating in the air. Okay. Too far away for me to swing the hammer at him. Yeah. No, he's just levitating. So you could run up and and smash him with the hammer. While within the darkness? Is he, is he in the darkness? No, he is, is he not in okay. the darkness. He's outside the darkness. Okay. Uh, Gillick's pondering uh, his abilities and wondering if he tries to shoot 
Eldritch Blast. So I, first off, my Eldritch Blast still has that white fire thing, right? It's a option you can turn on, yes. Okay, and it, all it does is just change it to radiant damage, or is it just, it's like that? It doesn't even change it to radiant damage, I don't think. It just, uh, you make your attack, and it has certain special properties against undead. Against undead, thank you. So, Gilux wondering if he could try to channel his smite through the Eldritch Blast. If he burns a spell slot. Uh... I don't believe that's how smite is worded. I think smite has to be a melee attack. It's specifically a melee attack, but you know, no, on the off yeah. chance, the no, rules. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with yeah. No, <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm just in this saying case. it would incentivize me to use that more so I can level up my my weapon. I the leveling up your weapon is the incentive. <laughs> that's that's on yes. you, buddy. <laughs> that's that's also fair. All right, so I'm gonna make um uh, eldritch blast and. Shoot mm. that mofo. I'm going to make Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I'm going to make some Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Grandpa Gillick's old-fashioned make... Eldritch Blast. <laughs> make for me one Eldritch Blast. Bartender, I'll make it an Eldritch Blast. I feel like that's going to be just like grape juice and vodka. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> It's like okay. It's like it's moonshine and vodka. <laughs> or moonshine and moonshine right. and vodka and grape juice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's got to be purple. Right, exactly. Roll your Eldritch Blast attack roll. All right. I can't wait uh, for the live show when we make everyone drink one. all these drinks. Uh, uh, American. You're first, Mike. <laughs> Twenty-four to hit. You hit. Excellent. Two damage. Second attack. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. That's old oh school God. Gillick, baby. <laughs> Roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, Excellent. Jesus. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, you fire off the first of the Eldritch Blasts. It barely touches the creature. Um, a second Eldritch Blast, you attempt to fire, <laughs> and it just sort of, like, reverberates through you. Um, a tentacle blasts through the ethereal realm and wraps itself around you, pulling you up and th deeper and deeper into the ethereal realm. Uh, uh. You just feel this sudden tug and so much pull away. Uh in the material plane, you guys stop being able to see Gillick's shadow uh -oh. form of himself, oh, and the Mind Flayer drops into existence. Burr. <laughs> uh, um. um. Where's Gillick? The Mind Flayer. <laughs> Shit. Uh, the Mind Flayer swoops down and uh, tries to make an attack on the nearest person it can, uh, which is uh, Gibetto, who has just freed himself from the back of the Avalith. What's your AC? 18. Uh, it, it does not, uh, successfully hit you. It tries to attack you with the tentacles around its face. Like, they come in, like, trying to get you, and you just dodge out of the way of all these, like, I'm just too fast. tentacles. Yeah, you're just too fast for these tentacles. He had to duck real low to try to get you, so, uh, okay. it just was an uncomfortable <laughs> situation for him. Uh, it's your turn, Gebetto. Great. Um, so... Oh god, he's looking right at me. This is bad news. Uh <laughs> You know. Eh, Javetta just uh <laughs> stabs him with my swishy. Okay. Uh cuz he's not sure what else to do. Uh so that's what he's going to go ahead and do now. Okay. Uh, make an attack. Yeah, it's uh, 14 and 9. 23 to hit. 23 hits. Great. Um, and it is uh, 
Seven damage. Oh, and uh, another three. Ten damage. Okay. Uh, next up. And then oh. I'm going to use my, uh, my cunning action to disengage. Okay. And I'm going to run back to Asher's uh, giant elk. You going to hide behind me, baby? You know it. Okay. All I see is this giant elk, and it stabbed me. (laughs) 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 What happened? What happened? Uh, Balance continues to focus on the ritual, maintaining its uh, strength. So, Asher, it is your turn. Great. Um, Well, I'm going to run away from Gebetto. Sorry, bud. Um, I'm going to charge in a 20-foot... Straight line, I hope, at this thing. Is it is it twenty feet? Is it or do I have to rear back to do it or No, you can get twenty feet. Cool, I do it. And I, I, I charge it and I ram it with my horns. And I roll a nine. You elk it with your horns. Um a nine is not enough. So I I fuck up. Okay. Yeah, you charge forward and you try to ram it and it just sort of floats back and you totally miss. Cool. I'm glad I did this. Uh, Genevera, it's your turn. All right. Genevera looks at the mind flare and says, <laughs> get ready to burn. And then she kind of looks around and at everyone else's face to see if it was like a cool thing to say. It was. And then Cassius Tasha's hideous laughter. I was going to say, Gebetto's Gebetto's waiting for the punchline. He's so ready. (laughs) Anthony, it sounded like you were going to say Cassius hideous. Cassius hideous. (laughs) D-I-N-O-S-A. Okay. Um, So I cast Fireball. Oh, fuck. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, Goodbye, you. You're the one who's closest. Right. That's what You're I meant. The one who's ne- oh. I, I, was, I was addressing the, the party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I cast it in front of Asher? That would hit Not, me more. It's, it's kind of a tight <laughs> space, so um, you can't get a full 40 feet behind the, uh, the, the mind flare. I can take it. I All right, I, can, I'll, I have one more sorcery point to cast careful with. Um, so he can auto-succeed. Yay. Okay. Uh, great. So it's a Dex saving throw. And and uh, fireball evocation. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. He saves. Damn it! Still roll that damage. Kill him somehow. Where's Gillick? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. <laughs> I love critical fails on spells. You can do so many funny things. Thirty-seven. Okay. And as a bonus action, I am going to um, cash in. Uh, second level spell slot for more sorcery points. Okay. Perfect. Um, Baum reappears on the roof of the building. You can see him through the hole in the ceiling that the Aboleth created. Uh, you see him raise his hands up in the air and... Cre- like you just don't care. Like you just don't care and create a shield, a wide shield made from his calming energy. That is one calm shield. (laughs) Uh, It does not cover the whole of the uh, area, but he seems to be like uh, protecting you guys from uh, at least anything new showing up. Okay. But the ritual is still working? The ritual is still working. Uh, Gillick, I'm going to skip you for a minute. Uh, the, uh, mind flare, uh, it seems like puts its hands together and it seems to be like muttering a, uh, 
Uh, it's summoning a spell, uh, and it sort of raises its hands and disappears. Uh, anyone who can cast magic spells can go ahead and give me an arcana check. Nineteen. Nineteen plus... Mine's nine. Four. Twenty-three. Okay. Yeah, Genevera, it looks like to Twelve. you... Twelve. Not enough. Genevera, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks to you like uh, the casting of the spell Plane Shift. And he shifted himself away to another plane. Oh. Okay. Um, Traveling up and down that upside down cone. That's right. Gillick, you According get... to Baum, <laughs> I still think it's a plum pudding model. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that model was discredited over a century ago. <laughs> Gillick, you get pulled through the ethereal plane uh, up to the edge of this outer ring by this large, shadowy black tentacle. Uh, at the very edge, oh, hey. you seem to be staring out into purple and blue with a field of stars. Um... You're still in the ethereal plane. You still have sort of this sort of gray haziness to it all, but you're just on the edge staring out into the astral plane. Uh, well, for the first well, time that you've looked out in here, well beyond, you see other orbs of gray energy, other planes floating in the astral plane. Yeah. Cool. The bubble multiverse. It's the bubble verse. <laughs> <laughs> Attached to this tentacle, you see the large black mass, the impossibly huge, uh, terrifying presence of the Shadow Lord. It's just a big black mass, like a black hole floating around? Yeah, with its tentacles, cool. uh, with tons of tentacles coming off of it. Uh, cool. I'm imagining it's got like a big halo light behind it, like an accretion disk. With like the tentacles sticking out, like it's that huge. It's like, it looks like a black star with like a, a like a white light behind it. Yeah, that's. I think that's fair. Okay. Um, and uh, it says, "Gilek Erdrad, my servant. You are my instrument, my will. You have come yeah. back to me. Well." I guess this is what I get for opening a pocket dimension inside of the plane of magic. <laughs> I will see you no matter where you go. From here I can view you in all the realms of this world. Wait, the realms of this world? You mean there are realms of other worlds? I... <laughs> I am not here for philosophical debate with you, Gillick uh, Erdrad. You're a cosmic entity. That's like all you can do. Find my servant. Wait, I'm your servant. You are one of my servants, for there are many. Okay, what servant do you want me to find? Find the dark wizard. The one known as Gorm Tintreach. Yeah, we're kind of working on that. He needs your help now, Gillick Erdrad. Wait, you want me to help Gorm? Find him and complete his plan. It is essential. I don't want to do that. Wait, you want me to... Wait, you want to wake up Harrix? The Dragon God must awaken. His seed must spread. He is the start of it all. He is the shadow incarnate. Wait, I thought you were the Shadow Incarnate. Like, you're the Shadow Lord. How does that make any sense? I'm confused. This is amazing. Also, I love how petulant <laughs> Gillick too. is to, like, this giant death creature. Well, I'm his servant. What's he going to do? Kill me? Let's not have good employees. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to speak to HR. <laughs> yeah, you want me to do work for you? All right. I planted the Shadow in Harix. It was I who led him to his first fall. His slumber oh. must end, and he must spread my shadow across the land. Oh, so you, like, infected Harrix like you infected me. Like I have infected all. Ah, uh, well, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, where can I find Gorm, then, if that's what you want me to do? Seek Gorm in the desert. Wait. Wait a second. Hang on. 
If you can see me everywhere. Wait, no, you said see him in the desert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 keep going. I just want to make sure I understand how this works. That's all. <laughs> Seek so God in the desert. In the desert. Okay. Yeah. Aid him in his quest. Okay. He is in need of you. Uh, what does he need me to do? He will tell you. You will be his instrument as you are mine. I mean, I can I really only be your instrument? I don't really want to be Gorm's instrument. Like... You will I, do I don't want to pyramid this. As I say. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh. 20. My bad. 2. <laughs> 20. It is 20. I'm eight, a minus a 18. A flat 20? Flat 20. Flat 20, baby. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's the title of my next flat album. 20, baby. Cool, 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 cool. About 20, baby. Oh. And cool, 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 cool. That's the, that's the number one hit off of it. Uh, you take 48 damage. <gasps> psychic. 48 damage? 48 psychic damage. Can I use abjuration and reflect it back at him? No. Uh, it is not a spell. It's not a spell? Damn it. All right. 48 psychic damage? Yes. Ah! And, <laughs> and you, you sort of fall unconscious. Back in the material plane... Baum has placed uh, the shield up above. He, there are a couple other creatures have sort of made their way down, and he's sort of bouncing them away as they come. Um, he turns and he says, "Without that, uh, without that mind flare, these creatures are simply acting mindlessly. They will not come uh, unforce. Finish your ritual." I go over to the ritual and unturn from elk form. And before I start, uh, I ask, I'm like, we can't leave until we get Gillick, so somebody needs to figure out something about Gillick. Uh, and then I just, like, start focusing on the ritual. Um, did we end up saving one of those potions? No, we we all drank them. Which one? Uh, what? The ethereal plane potions. I know we talked about... We drank them all, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Normally he just shows Pops. back up. Yeah. Um. Can you, Gibetto? Can you? Well. Hmm. Do you think maybe he didn't show back up here because we're not from here? Like, do you think maybe he showed up back at on the material plane? Like where we're from? Oh boy. Um that's a really that's a that's a scary bet to try and take. Hey Asher, how long do we have left on this thing? Uh Anthony, how long do I have left on this thing? Um probably about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Oh, that's okay. Um, hey, you what? Have... Remember, uh, remember Justin, Justin Mace, my Mace with the little face drawn on it. I remember, um, we tied a rope to him and we threw him somewhere, and I don't remember what happened to him. I don't know if you guys remember either. I don't. Like a really long time ago, like before we got to Adventure Incorporated? Nope. Oh. <laughs> like. Uh, I don't remember what happened. You guys don't remember Justin? No, I remember Justin. I don't, and Gibetto, I don't remember what Gibetto happened. Gibetto feels a little sad for a split second before realizing that it's it's just a maze. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, listen. Um. So the the portal is open or is not open? It is not open. It is current. I mean, it's not closed yet. Well. You guys have not closed the ley line. Right. Right. The portal you can go through, we just don't know where it ends up. The ritual is not complete. Okay. Well, I guess we don't... It doesn't matter. We can just wait 20 minutes and see what happens from there. Maybe he'll come back in that time. 
And Gebetto crosses his fingers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Balance uh, holds out the redeemers um, and, and begins to siphon the magic from the symbol along with uh, Asher, as you, you guys have reached sort of that phase oh. in earnest. It's this part. We need, um, we need his pulls weapon. Out. Don't we need his weapon to close it? Maybe if we use ours, it'll draw him to us. Well, well, that's a good point. We know he's not dead. That's yeah, true. Otherwise, we'd have his... Oh, but his hammer's invisible. Kind- Gebetto holds a hand out to try to grab the hammer. Nothing happens. <laughs> Pass me the axe. <laughs> um, well, let's, get, let's see what we can do, guys. And I uh, hold out my weapon. I don't... Same. I don't... I don't. I don't feel comfortable doing this. I mean, it's not going to open if he's not here, right? It could transport us back and then we'd close it and then he could be stuck here. That's never how it's been before. We always open it with the weapons and then we jump in. We'll wait extra time, but... To see if he appears. I just maybe if like his weapon isn't part of opening it, then he can't get through. Um. I don't know. Ju- ju- what? Okay. Uh- you keep half saying my name. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Gibetto puts a. Like puts my swishy out of the circle and like just holds it. This down. is like, okay. What? This is this is one of those times where you know when I said like sometimes I can't remember everything perfectly. Um, when we were about to drink, the oh it, no, it was it was Gillick. So okay, because I remember us saying like we had five potions to get us into the ethereal plane, and one person saying that maybe we could do a thing and we didn't have to drink them all. You were gonna turn invisible. I, I know that, but somebody else was also, it was also, it was no, also. No, but we drank them all. I know, I know, I know, but I thought it was you saying there was something different you could do, and I was thinking that maybe you could do that something different now, but clearly that's not something that you can do. I was just misremembering it, and. Uh, I and, think my original suggestion was to pretend to be waiters again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, you're prob- that you're right. I just. I pretend to be a waiter now, exactly. that'll solve the problem. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say, would you like some water while no, you wait? No, I just I was I was <laughs> reaching. I was trying to think of I don't know anything. Um, I. It's not even like we have his body like normal and can kick it. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Genevera. I just, I honestly do not feel comfortable going through this ritual without Gillick here. Because if he gets trapped, then it's our fault, and we've left him here, and he can't get back. I'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) I don't, I don't think the ritual will work without Gillick. Also same, because you need all the weapons. Okay, so that's, then that's, okay, then that's fine, then we just wait. Or, or we yell. Uh, Baum Rick. Baum reflects like a a, a huge uh, lightning serpent as it comes in down. Then he bounces it away. Uh, he says, "I won't be able to hold this forever." We oh can't, we can't um, can, we can't continue the ritual until our friend returns, and we don't know where he is. And we can't even do it for another twenty minutes anyway. So chill out. We're doing twenty our minutes. I can hold hours. I cannot. Sure. We're just asking for 20 minutes right now. Um, balance. Is, you're like, you like live in Keth's mind. Is, can you travel to, to other planes? Mines? Like, even if it just like drops Keth unconscious for a few minutes. Like, that's if you like leave his brain and go jump to Gillix. Is that something you can do? That's not how it works. I kind of thought so, but, uh... It is Keth's connection to the Order that allows me to access his mind through the astral uh, projection. Can you see other stuff in the astral projection? Because you're connected to Baum? Like maybe this place is? 
a, a connection and you can see into the astral plane here? No, that's not how it works. I could see through Baum's eyes, if Baum would allow it. Keth is weak-willed, which is why I'm able to get in. <laughs> that's also fair. Kind of mean. Uh, yeah. Simply true. But fair. <laughs> um... Uh, okay. Uh, Gibetto puts away my swishy. And he closes his eyes. And he thinks real hard about purple and black and stars and glass. Make a wisdom saving throw. Um, 10. You hear a gnawing whisper at the back of your mind. It says, Save me. <sighs> Javetto thinks the name Gillick Erdrad. Nothing happens. Too clever for that, huh? And he says the name... The Shadow Lord. You... Dun, dun, dun. You open your mouth to speak the name. And the words that leave your mouth are not the words you intend to say. Comes from your mouth as you fall backwards, unconscious. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I run over to try and catch Gibetto. Uh Balance just keeps focusing on the ritual. <laughs> it's just keeping this, this, this shit going. <laughs> Sorry, thank you, Gibetto. Balance. <laughs> you find yourself on a field of glass. In blue, in, all around you, swirling blue and purple. Bright stars all around. There's that shattering sound again, and you feel that sensation of falling. Except this time you're grabbed, picked up. But not by tentacles. Underneath you is something soft and fleshy, like, like some sort of smooth skin. And the hand that holds you is massive, giant. You are just dwarfed by it. Okay. I see what you did there. Hey You're no And the flesh it. is purple. <laughs> it is what? Purple. The hand pulls you through the stars, zipping, zooming by. As the hand settles, you sort of turn and you're... It takes a second for your brain to register the enormity of the face you see in front of you. Two swirling uh, galaxies inset in a face of purple. At your service? You have made a dangerous bargain. Unlike those you travel with, just now you have no choice. A choice you cannot unmake. I have watched this war for a long time. The Celestial. The Shadow. The Shadow. And the Fae. And the Fae. It is one that your world has been placed in the precipice of. One that has been forced to endure. Those who have it wield upon that. There is an opportunity for redemption. Those who choose to take up its path are lost to the war forever. What you have done here, you, you, you have done with good intention. 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 
but I am afraid, but I am afraid that you belong now you belong now to this war. To this war. It is a part of it is a part of it is a part and you will never you get will yourself never back get from yourself it. Back from it. You have come for the dwarf, Gilek Erdrag. Yes. You call the name. You call the name. You call the name. A name of darkness and shadow. And shadow. And shadow. You did this out of desperation, and I do not believe that it is you, your true desire, to carry this earth. I would offer you a choice, a way out. Would you take it? Would you take it? Would you take it? Would you take it? I... I don't know. I mean... You what? know who I am. You 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 know who I am. No. I am the all I am the all The great one beyond. The great one beyond. I. I. And Kaliesta. And Kaliesta. On your world, I am seen as one of the Celestials. Though I am a part of I am a part of I am a part of I am of not I am of the war, not, I am of though I have watched it. I have watched it. I have watched it. I have watched it. I would make you my champion to abate this war, to end this, to end this, to end this, to end this. Oh hell yeah! There is little I am supposed to do. My my role is to observe, to observe, to watch, to watch. But the time for watching has ended, and the time for action has begun. You are my first action, Gibetto, Funky, the one who stumbled at the Tender Shivers. At your service. And as a proof to my call, my second action will be swift as well. And just like, just like that, Gibetto, your eyes snap open Ugh. and you are laying right where you were and there is a sudden crack that rings out across the plane and not just the plane but all planes at once a loud booming cracking noise and Gillick you find yourself thrust quickly away from the the place that you were on the edge of the ethereal plane and slam back down onto the ground just outside the uh, evocation ley line here in the evocation plane. Is there like a little bit of a crater? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Stuff. A little bit cool. of a crater. Yeah, no, it, it's got to look like Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a yes. big cloud Thank puff. You. Like the rocks are still floating in the air a little. Right. Like... <laughs> Geppetto, right. what did you do? Geppetto, what did you Charging do? my power. I am the fist of Caliesto. <laughs> and there's some fist in the needs to get to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. End it there. No, end it we there. Gotta close it. We're <laughs> done. Ley line. We can't end it there. <laughs> close this fucking ley line. <laughs> You gotta fist this ley line. Fist ley line. Go. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Baum, you ready? Uh, he he seems to be like holding off a, a one more creature. He says yes. He drops the shield after the creature is sort of repelled and uh, makes his way down. Cool. I put my crossbow in. Put my sword in. He looks like crawling out of the crater. Oh. <laughs> hey. Let's What's do this, Gillick. Come on. Come on. Hey, what are we doing? Closing this ley line. He's like fumbling around looking for his flask. Gibetto no, pulls no. out Gibetto pulls out his rapier and sticks it into the to the middle. Warhammer in, Gillick. Bow ah. hammer. Warhammer in. Oh. Gillick summons the Warhammer. Puts it in the ley line. The lines of red energy withdraw from the ground and pull themselves back up into your weapons as Baum comes running uh from the other room. 
uh, he stands nearby and uh, I think probably takes a position right behind Keth, um, maybe a hand on his shoulder. Uh, the energy draws back up into the weapons uh, until the last bit pulls in and there is that familiar feeling again. You see the, the spinning, you hear the sound rushing past your ears, you feel the crushing and the twisting and the pulling, and then there is just red. And as the red clears from your eyes, you find yourselves in the basement of the Ritual Tower of Adventure Incorporated. Hooray! Is there a giant eel body? Yeah, do we see any Aboleth bits anywhere? Negative. Okay. Is Guys, Baum alive and intact? Baum is with you, and he is alive and intact. Hooray! Hooray! Guys, don't celebrate. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hey adventurers, DM Anthony here again. I just want to remind you that there are lots of ways to support the show. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Links and more can be found at adventureinc.podbean.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. I feel like you guys are like sports announcers for a chat room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can we make that a podcast? Yes. <laughs> I'm in. All right. So what... Ch- <laughs> what chat room would we do? Uh... And it looks like Shitlord69 is saying, okay. <laughs> it's a bold move there, but all right. Ooh, we'll yeah. Ooh, happening. he put up the K react. It's bold. <laughs> Passive aggressive boldness right there. Oh, but... oh, man. He went to the well quick with all that. All caps, Hitler all caps, rap. all caps. Okay, but XOXOXO, hello, XOXOXO69 just said. Clearly That's ironic fine. uses of affection. So many ironic uses of affection. It's yeah. surprising to me how many people in this chat room's uh, handle ends with 69. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get for going to XXX chat 6969. This has been ESPN 8. <laughs> <laughs> you mean ESPN 69. <laughs> God, that would be funny. Like, I can't uh, wait to launch that yeah. Patreon exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. His moves don't look good enough to me, Bill. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it happen this time. <laughs> I don't know. That's a quick gif reaction. Right, let's, see. let's see. Ooh, and an uh, emoji. Ooh, what a twist. <laughs> but a bagel emoji. No one knows what that means yet. <laughs> All right. You see, when you take that long to respond, you lose what's called the momentum of the conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Special guest John Madden. Oh, that's really great. Fucking the only God. way to chat more is to type words into the box and hit enter. 